Hey, what is going on everybody? Tom from Tom's Roundness, and today I have a really cool video, kind of like a part two of sorts. If you watched the video uh, very recently, I talked about a type set or a type of set or a whatever I called it in the video. Um, this is a very easy way to get into coin collecting, or if you're already a collector, a fun um, goal to set for yourself. So I am I created this uh, denominational idea, denominational typeset, uh, and I'm only buying coins in mint state um, and in annex soapbox holders. It's my favorite holder. It's hard for me to put one down, especially if I find them at my local coin store. I really have a hard time walking out without them. But for this denominational typeset that I'm creating. I wanted to get coins in mint state and I wanted to get a penny, a nickel, a dime, a quarter, a half dollar, and a dollar coin. So off the bat, uh, the very first coin in an NXO box holder I got for this series, which wasn't originally for the series, but it is this war nickel. So it's a silver coin and it is mint state 64 and it also happens to be an RPM. So, a pretty cool little silver nickel. The second coin I got, I actually got for Christmas from the girlfriend. I, she asked me what to get me, and I said nothing. That's what I always say, and she said, send me something that I can get for you, please. And so I sent her this. It was a good price, and I really loved this coin. Um, this was one of those cases where I wanted the holder more than anything, but it was a nice coin in the holder for a really good price. So this is a uh, 1878S and MS62. Uh, nice Morgan there. And it was really well priced. And then I have another silver coin. So keeping in the, the silver, I'm probably going to have to get a silver dime and a silver quarter. Uh, yes, we have a silver Kennedy half dollar. This is a 2000 in proof 68. So it is tied for the highest, no, second highest graded half dollar I have in my collection. Um, and if you saw in the beginning of this video, you've seen a, well, the label was wrong on the eBay listing. They had it listed as an, a Mint State 66, and it was in an Annex Old Soap Box holder as a Mint State 65 red. Uh, so I actually sent them an offer on it. They accepted, and I got it for about four or five dollars less than the asking price. I didn't want to just go get a modern penny. I wanted to kind of get either an Indian head cent or a wheat cent. I ended up getting a 1955 wheat cent in MS 65. So I'm very, very happy and excited about that. Now I just have to get a dime and a quarter. Um, I've been looking at a proof uh, mercury dime and I've been looking at a proof uh, Washington quarter um, because there there's really no way I could afford to go for something like a seated or a barber or anything like that uh, it just doesn't fit into my budget and since all of these coins are relatively you know modern ish ish I guess the Morgan don't really count for modern but um, anyway you you do this how you want to do it and if you watched my video most recent video about mint sets and, and proof sets you would have seen that i went on ebay and i found a whole bunch of proof, proof 69 coins and pcgs and ngc holders you could literally put together a whole set for less than a hundred dollars probably for this same denominational type set if you picked modern coins in uh, proof 69 holders or, you know, lesser mint state uh, coins. Uh, proofs are much better, I think, in price-wise because you can get the proof 68, 69s for a lot less. I mean, significantly less than a proof 70. Um, and so, again, you can put together a pretty quick coin set or, or coin collection of sorts, type set, whatever you want to call it, for a relatively affordable price. Now, when I complete this, I'm going to be super, super excited, but I have absolutely got addicted to these holders, and I have a problem. So, um, you can call the hotline down below. If you're a coin addict like me, just don't be addicted to Annex Soapbox holders, because I don't need anybody bidding up my bids on eBay. Good luck, God bless. I'll see you on the next one.